I just want to start off reflecting on the career so far you've had. You were driver of the year in 2014 and 2017. You're going into the Hall of Fame in 2020. You're a rising star in 2003. Just kind of give us a few uh, words reflecting back. I mean, it's been a good run. You know, uh, it, it started out slow. I thought the first uh, after the rising star for the you know, few years after that, but then uh, about 2008, 9, 10, like it's when it really started to pick up. And um, no, really proud you know, of uh, where I'm at now. And I think, uh, like I said, it's been a good run and, you know, won a lot of uh, big races, and, uh, and there's, but there's still more to come. Breeders' Crown Weekend is upon us. In 2007, you won your first Breeders' Crown race at the Meadowlands. It's back at the Meadowlands this year. It was with Southwind Serena. Um, take us back to that day. Oh, I didn't expect to win. I told Vicky actually uh, not to bother coming. I didn't have any chance that day, so um, she was in Maine for my first British Crown. But uh, yeah, Serena, she, uh, she, you know, she wasn't uh, finishing quite as well in some of the races before, and she just had the time to the earn move just right. And it was uh, just a perfect storm that day. You know, I got to set the two hole behind Pepper Princess, and uh, you know, I was able to you know get out halfway down the stretch, and then she got the job done. But uh, being Mission Brief's mom, you know, like uh, in inside, like it was, uh, you know, she's been really important in my career, not only for the first British Crown, but then uh, probably the, you know, the most talented horse I've driven after that was Mission Brief, I think. And uh, so, um, you know, I, that it was a special moment. You've added 24 trophies to your trophy case in the Breeders' Crown, your sixth all time in the Breeders' Crown history. Is there any one maybe horse that sticks out just going through the Breeders' Crown? Foiled again, and uh, I think it was 2013, just because. Uh, uh, I missed him uh, the year before in uh, Canada, where I thought I thought he probably would have won, maybe if I was there, just because I know him better, and and uh, you know he has been so important to my career, um, and you know being able to get it done, and, and really that race is uh, exactly what he, he's made of. Like he was, he went a hundred miles an hour every step of the way. The gate opened up, he was all out, and he was all out every step of the mile, and. And he fought down the stretch. They were coming from everywhere. And it was just like, a, for the horse, a, 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 um, I think that's the one that sticks out for me. All right, I'm going to say a horse's name. You tell me in one word or one phrase what the horse has done for your career. Mission Brief. Uh, you no, know, crazy fast and uh, a pleasure, uh, uh, but uh, a lot of stress. <laughs> <laughs> Father Patrick. Um, Sorry about the Ambo. It's the one that, you know, unfortunately, that's the thing that sticks, sucks for him is, uh, you know, he's never going to get to win a Ambo and, and something that I won't forget, but a super talented horse. Ariana G. Uh, just class, you know, just easy and um, did everything right. Handle or Hanover? Tough, uh, no, big machine, just, uh, just didn't matter which trip, she just could get, she could do anything. Where were you, Bill? Uh like a really fast sports car, but it can, can be a little difficult. You know, she was some bully at times, but uh, she, she had incredible speed. Foiled again. Uh, just made my man, um, just tough. Um, resilience, I guess, but uh, he just, he, he, you know, he didn't have the speed of some of the other one, but the heart, I think heart would probably be the, the one word for him. Tall, dark stranger. Um, you know, he's, he's foiled and him are my two favorite pacers obviously uh, he's just incredible horse same thing with him he's tough i i never thought i'd drive another horse that was as tough as foiled again and maybe you know it's hard to compare because foiled did it for 12 years versus he did it for two but uh he just loved to win races you know round it out with atlanta uh she's a sweetheart you know uh yeah, she, she uh she can do it like uh you know with, with the right trip she's incredible she can beat pacers with their her incredible burst of speed then uh, she's a pleasure to drive you were the sixth driver to hit the 200 million dollar club back in lexington you joined john campbell david miller tim tedrick and ron pierce what does that mean to you well, great names to be with there's no doubt about it um, and and it, it's a great numbers for me to to hit and Everybody knows me. I'm not about racing. Uh, no, all those starts. Me, the, the last column, the column on the right is the most important one. So that that's definitely a nice feather there, the 200 million. But again, like I said at the beginning of the interview, it's not over yet. So let's go for 300. You have a big weekend ahead. Good luck. Thank you very much. Never mind. I'll find